Hey y'all, happy spring. I am coming to you to show you how I'm going to decorate a spring bar cart. It's more of a romantic vibe, a lot of pinks and purples, but I think most stuff that I do is probably pink or has some type of romantic color. But anyways, I'm a huge bar cart fan. I think that everybody should own a bar cart, whatever the style, because you can always decorate it and style it for all of your um, events or dinner parties or just to have it with your stocked bar. So if you want to learn how to decorate a spring romantic bar cart, stay tuned. Don't mind me right here. I have just brought in everything from the car and Callie is sitting there doing her wallpaper Wednesdays and I am just running around like a mad woman trying to make sure I have everything for the bar cart but most importantly you have to clean your bar cart. I love this bar cart. It has two glass pieces one on the top and one one on the bottom and they're pretty light so I'm able to take the glass out and move the frame around and then put the glass back in and Clorox should sponsor me because I definitely didn't realize I had the container just sitting right there so making sure it's clean top and bottom I'm really cleaning it <laughs> pretty good but let's move on to a staple for every single bar cart that you create, design, imagine, you have to have flowers. Flowers are key. It's like the base for everything. I also brought my two-tier stand and I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it, whether on top or the bottom. And honestly, I probably didn't even have enough snacks to put on it, but I just decided to put it on the bottom rack for now. Another item that I think goes very well with bar carts, at least this romantic one, are candles. I have a couple of different candlesticks and I opted to go with a tan neutral rather than the pink. And right now it, it has a good base and I'm thinking it's going to start looking a little bit more romantic if I start adding in more details. Of course with a bar cart you want to add drinks so I brought in some Le Grand Cortage champagne put it in the ice bucket on the bottom. I'm still not sure what I want to do with the two tier stand. And as you can see, I moved it out of the way completely because it just wasn't working. So then I bring in different types of champagne flutes. I have the pink tint and also the clear. And of course, more flowers. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. I absolutely love these flowers. These flowers are actually done by Amanda B. Florals. I have a video with um, Amanda a couple of weeks ago maybe a month ago and she's showing me how to do an awesome flower hack so check out that video and I picked up this fabric from Amazon it is a sheer like tulle fabric but it has pearls all on it and I absolutely love it my birth month is June so my birthstone is pearls I feel like pearls are very romantic even with the tulle it gives it some texture some some I guess color um, to kind of just really enhance the flower color, it, it, it's a juxtaposition. Y'all know what I'm saying. But anyways, I absolutely love this fabric. I think it looks beautiful. I added in some more desserts that I did on the side with this emerald green cake stand, removing the parfaits. I made those in a little vintage cup and I brought in some of my mother's china at the top. Again, I'm still fluffing up the fabric just to make sure it lays right. I want to make sure everything is seen, but then also if there are gaps, I'm able to use the fabric to kind of cover it up and fill in space. Let's get a good zoom in of these gorgeous flowers. I was able to create delicious cocktails with Pomp and Whimsy Gin. And we have a wardrobe change because I will be taking photos. So we're adding the gin to the bottom of the bar cart. And now we're doing some behind the scenes shots, trying to take pictures, finding angles, making sure that I don't look too crazy. 
Callie is taking my pictures, so we're gonna try to get some shots in. The shoot is done. I'm excited that we got it done. Um, yeah, I hope my vision came out how it's supposed to. My car is packed completely. Cause like when you do a photo shoot, at least for me, I have a vision, but I want to bring everything with me just in case, cause you never know. And I want to have options. I don't want to just stick to it. I guess I kind of want to play around with it. So that is why I have a packed vehicle with beautiful flowers and all this content stuff. But I'm going to show you all the final look and everything. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So stay tuned. <laughs>